As the weather cools, we've been focusing on starting to harvest crops for ourselves, but also for our chickens. And so in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the harvests we've been doing of sunflower and millet and some very low-tech ways that we're trialing to store them for the winter for our chickens' enjoyment. So stick around. This year we've had the privilege of being able to garden in a new area. I was talking about this in a recent video to which I will link here if you're interested in seeing. We were talking about mulching that space. And in that garden, we planted lots, uh, to us, lots of sunflower, a fair bit of millet, and a whole bunch of corn for ourselves, as well as some butternut squash. And so now we're bringing these crops back to our hens and trying to figure out the best way to have them be able to enjoy them now but then also preserve some for later on in the winter. Certainly the easiest thing to do in the short run is to simply cut the sunflower heads and drop them on the ground. The hens are very willing to work with that situation and it's nice because some of them flip upside down and then we can flip them over and they will peck out every last seed. So when we were in the field yesterday, I was going through and harvesting with a little pair of uh, hand pruners, heads of sunflowers that were really nice that I thought we could tie up and try to actually cure for the winter. And then this grade, which we can simply put down for our hens. We left a ton of sunflower and millet in the field for the wild birds. We still had enough for us, so that's really fun. With the millet, we simply cut them at about six to eight inches high, it looked like there's a potential for more grain to come. So it seemed like rather than pulling them, that made sense to let them do another flush before it frosts. And we just tied them up very simply and have been hanging them in the chicken yard in a bunch of random spots. The real fun one is right on the gate here. Every time we open and close the gate, little millet falls down. Now this isn't gonna be a way to preserve millet deep into the winter, but it sure should give our hens a boost coming into this cold time. It has a nice look too. We're not expecting this to last very long. Some of them are falling apart already, but here this can help protect visually from the road just a little bit, but in the meantime rain down some really nice protein for our hens. And the wild birds are invited to nibble on this as well. I feel like each time a wild bird lands on here, a little bit more falls out. In the field, the birds that were there definitely picked through these pretty thoroughly, but there's still a fair bit of seed and I suspect these green ones will ripen a bit more and drop some niceness for our hens. Is it the most efficient way to grow millet uh, for our hens and store it? Probably not, but it was about a dollar's worth of seed and no fossil fuel on our end to grow them, so we're pleased with what we've got. So it's a fun boost to have the sunflower seed heads and millets all over the chicken yard but I suspect that'll only give them a boost in their feed for the next week or two, maybe three weeks, but then they'll start to fall apart and mold. And so those sunflower heads that were full and firm, uh, looked like they had no rot or mold. We went ahead and bundled in these groups of roughly 20 heads per and have been hanging them in this high tunnel that so far, well, it's been mainly storing hay for bedding in the chicken coop. And this will become the compost pipeline sometime in November. But my hope is that by then these sunflower heads will be nice and dry and we can actually harvest the seeds off of these and store them. What's amazing to think about is that this amount of sunflower seed came from a single seed. It's a pretty massive increase. My thought too is we could have these hang for now and then when it gets very cold, transfer these into the chicken coop and then when it's uh, snowy outside just simply come through a snips and snip ahead and let the hens do the rest they can work them pretty nicely if i knock a little bit out the hens know very quickly where to go and what to do you can see this first bundle that i hung <laughs> this hen is demonstrating for us if you can believe it two days ago Every one of these heads was completely full. So the hens are having a lot of fun. You can see where they weren't able to get them. They're just a little bit out of the way. So we'll sacrifice this for our friends to enjoy. It's pretty amazing how fast they'll go through these. I think we'll keep doling out these smaller or partial heads for the next handful of days. I might take the rest of those seconds, so to speak. Boy, they have so much fun with those. Um, the ones on, that remain on the back of the truck and lay these out on screens in our home or in the greenhouse attached to our home where our cats are. 
so that wild birds can't get them. Um, and then we can dole these out as they dry down. I know if they just lay in the truck, they're gonna rot, but there's a lot of good seed in here that we wanna make sure our hens can get. And it's also easy and fun to take some of these heads and simply poke them through the fence in two spots through the chicken wire, stable enough to carry the weight of a small bird so they can land and peck at these. So probably about half of what's in the truck we can weave through our fence here and a huge percentage still remains in the field for the wild birds that are down the road. So it's just an overabundance from these wonderful annuals. Probably $3, $4 worth of seed and all these flying friends that either we directly ally with or just enjoy the company of in the wild form get to have a good boost coming into what will be a cold winter, I'm sure. In our greenhouse, we can hang sunflower heads to dry that our cats can patrol for chipmunks and birds. These will be for us. So we'll let these dry down and we might either roast them this winter or press them into oil or do some other experiments. I just love the look of them hanging there drying down and we'll let them cure. If we do something that seems interesting with them, we'll make some notes and share. But for the most part, we're just experimenting and playing with a very low tech way of hanging. Please share notes. Do you see something about the way we're trying to dry these that is problematic? that we should know about. This feels like the time of year where there's not enough hours in the day to try to get out and collect and cure all the food, all the effort we put through uh, this summer, all the effort the plants put to make these amazing foods for us to survive and enjoy the winter. But this part at least is done. We can let them rest and learn from them. Stanley, you'll keep an eye on these sunflowers, right? You gotta get some outside time today. We'll walk around with you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>